look at these sentences. We are at home. Children are in the playground. They are on second floor. You are in India. This part of the sentence is called subject and this part of the sentence is called verb and this part of the sentence is called other words. In the first category, we used nouns. In the second category, we used adjectives. In the third category, we used ing forms. And now we are using prepositional phrases. These are called prepositions, at, in, on, in. And if you add a noun to the preposition, it becomes prepositional phrase. So R goes with prepositional phrases also. And this type of sentences can be used to talk about time or place or relationship. If you have more number of prepositional phrases, you can make more sentences with R and with these four people. And as I have been telling you, it is used to talk about present tense. Let us repeat these sentences once. We are at home, children are in the playground, they are on second floor, you are in India. We are against violence. We are in front of your house. We are behind your house. We are beside your house. We are opposite your house. So we are in front of your house. This is a prepositional phrase. We are behind your house. That's a prepositional phrase. We are beside your house. That's a prepositional phrase. We are opposite your house. That's a prepositional phrase. So if you have more number of prepositional phrases, you can make more number of sentences like this. This is stage one. Make sentences and read them, repeat them loudly as many times as possible. Once you gain the confidence of making sentences with prepositional phrases, then you should go to stage two to learn, practice variations. Look at these sentences. The books are on the table. Children are at home. This is subject, as I have told you just now. This is verb and this is prepositional phrase. The books are on the table. Now, I should know how to use it in four different ways. The books are on the table. The books are not on the table. Are the books on the table? Aren't the books on the table? Aren't the books on the table? Or you can also call it Are the books not on the table? It doesn't make any difference. You can use contracted form or expanded form. Now repeat it loudly. The books are on the table. The books are not on the table. Are the books on the table? Aren't the books on the table? Children are at home, positive form. If children are at home, we use this sentence. If they are not at home, naturally we say children are not at home. That is the negative form. Children are at home, children are not at home. Are children at home? I want to confirm. Yes, children are at home. No, children are not at home. Are children at home? Aren't children at home? Negative form. Repeat. Children are at home. Children are not at home. Are children at home? Aren't children at home? We are in front of you. We are not in front of you. Are we in front of you? Aren't we in front of you? The books are beside the table. The books are not beside the table. Are the books beside the table? Aren't the books beside the table? 
the soldiers are at the border the soldiers are not at the border are the soldiers at the border aren't the soldiers at the border the books are in the library the books are not in the library are the books in the library aren't the books in the library in this way collect large number of prepositional phrases make sentences and convert every sentence into four variations practice them loudly i hope you have enjoyed this fourth use of are